Hello everyone, welcome back to the Vinuesa Lab. We are here today with the second video of the Large Language Models for Physical Problems. In this particular video, we will focus on the applications on transformers, specifically already in chaotic systems, but we will build with more simple scenarios. First of all, let's do a recap from the video that we um, um, introduced in the past. In the first place, we, we understood the transformer as a composite uh, model, which has the different kinds of layers, from the, multi, from the MLP to the convolutions to the tension. And in particulararly in this video, we will focus more on the embedding, which uh, a more canonical embedding uh, originally for languages, the positional encoding. For physical problems, firstly was introduced the time to vector that one can find here the, the reference. And the other embedding that we introduced in, in our investigation is the time to space embedding, which will be our uh, first focus on this video. However, one of the main peculiarities that the transformer had that we mentioned in the past that it's really important to, to remember on this video is the contextual capacity to learn uh, different features and also the embedding capabilities that one has in order to tokenize the information. Going into the time to space, the time to space embedding, which is uh, one of the main uniqueness of, of our encoder transformer, as one can see here, uh, the embedding is just a map that brings a uh, matrix X uh, to a different space. Ideally, normally we want to lift up the values to a higher dimensional space where one could study better the dependencies between the features temporally and spatially. It is important to mention already here that we are introducing X as a real as a real matrix, where in the in the columns we have the features organized and along the rows we have the, tem the temporal evolution. So in this case, will be a time delay of a signal that we have uh, recorded either numerically or exper experimentally. Uh, also, one can have in the variables the, the S1 and S2 matrices that are just the linear multiplications, linear matrices. And after we have a convolution matrix, that is the last step that we can see um, in, the, in the process, in the algorithm. And I'm going to go through it now through the, through the whole embedding procedure. As one can see, the, the embedding map is composed that the X hat matrix is a concatenation of matrix XA and XB, later multiplied by a matrix uh, TF. We call this matrix TF because it's the matrix that in principle will uh, retain the dependencies a long time uh, through the embedding. How, is, how are these matrices X, A and X, B composed? As one can see here, we first of all, we fit our input into the embedding. This embedding um, branches in two processes, where the first process will do average pooling and the other process will do max poolings. This idea has in, in mind the capability of extracting average uh, behaviors and extremum behaviors. So at the end, our matrix, our pseudo input, which will be already tokenized, will inherit the average and uh, supremum behaviors. One can interpret the XA as a, um, as a moving average and one can interpret the XV as a subnorm. Once these two branches um, are, are computed, one can concatenate them and for a further reduction of the space and, and finally settling the pseudo input into the attention mechanism, we convolve it with a, with a kernel of two. More information regarding this time to space embedding can be found on the, on the ease attention uh, paper. And in following videos, we will use this, this embedding in more difficult scenarios. First, before continuing our investigation, it is important to understand the concept of what is a transformer. A transformer originally was thought as a model that was capable of extracting the, the interactions or the dependencies between uh, different features, in this particular case features uh, being languages, and originally was thought to, to translate text from, from one language to another one without building simple and trivial, trivial connections. Uh, in this particular case, the, the terminology of operator for neural networks was, has been already been uh, used, um, originally by the neural operator, in particular the more used the Fourier neural operator. The neural operator is a universal approximator which uh, is based on convolutional neural networks, which is just a linear uh, integral operators and the usage of nonlinear uh, functions to activate the information and being able to reproduce the original behavior of the data. Um, however, neural operators have the limitation that are not uh, contextual dependent. However, the attention mechanism, as one can see here, the alpha matrix is composed of the queries and the keys, as we introduced in the past video, and these queries and keys are fully dependent on the input, meaning that they have context information. This context information will facilitate the extraction of, uh, of information. However, we will see that in a really simple case, as uh, learning Fourier uh, frequencies, it seems it is not the most optimal way to, to learn the, the following. Um, taking this into account, the introduction of the neural operators, their good uh, ability to learn uh, Fourier frequencies, they already 
uh, existing algorithms such as uh, and frameworks such as the Kuhnman, Kuhnman operator, which takes to account uh, different different linear algebra uh, linear average linear algebra tools. Uh, in here, we will leverage the the Kuhnman operator idea through um, neural operators insights still retaining the capabilities of learning contextual information from the, from the attention mechanism. Um, as mentioned, first we will try to learn the Fourier modes. Um, as one can see here, the, the, the chosen system is a Van der Poel um, system, the Van der Poel chaotic system. It can, it can transition from different regimes, from quasi-periodic to chaotic to periodic, really easily, depending on the parameterization of the differential equation. In this particular case, we do a study of the three different regimes. Uh, first, we start from the quasi-periodic, and in a really simple scenario, the self-attention, just using the attention mechanism, uh, it's not capable of reconstructing the original signal uh, accurately. In this particular case we give a, a Fourier frequency, a Fourier mode to, to a one attention mechanism. So we split the imaginary and the real part and we compose a matrix of two columns where we have one the, co the cosine and the, the other one we have the sine. And as the time delay in the rows we have the period. So it's really easy, in principle it should be really easy for the model to learn this this uh, system because we are already inputting all of the information necessary to compute the next step. Uh, on the other hand, as one can see, the easy attention outperforms the self-attention for this really simple case scenario uh, when comparing with the ground truth. Um, taking this into account, if we could propose this attention as, a, as the attention mechanism for our encoder um, in further chaotic systems. However, we will take steps slowly in order to see how this scales up and um, not disregarding the main capability of the self-attention that was a computationally cheap and also acknowledging that the information that the input already ingrains should be relevant in the computation of the weights uh, along the training. Uh, as we mentioned, it's time to build the, the encoder of the transformer. As mentioned, this is only the encoder. In the future, uh, we will implement also the decoder through a cross-attention, and maybe then the self-attention and the ease-attention will have another, another opportunity to, to face different, different experiments. On this case, um, we are studying a nine-equation differential and an N equation ODE is the Moelli system. It's a low order turbulence model that already encapsulates uh, really imp important information such as the renal stresses and uh, different uh, structures and the, differ and the different correlation between them. Um, the building of this encoder is really simple. We input into the, into the encoder uh, the pseudo input that has been already tokenized by the embedding. However, we will start what, with, the, with the main input, the input that we give to our embedding. This is a matrix which is composed, as we say, by time and features. Our features are our nine equations of the ODE, and our time delay in this particular case will be 64. So we are taking 64 time steps depending on your discretization of the system. And uh, we will see how this uh, different attention mechanism, mechanisms with the same uh, encoder uh, perform in with different metrics. We will take to account the renal stresses, uh, the, the original renal stresses, and we will take to account further and more uh, strict metrics such as the, the point gamma maps. As one can see here, the, the, the output of the encoder is one, only one step, so we are inputting a matrix and we will output a vector, but retaining still the nine features. As mentioned, the Poincaré map is a reduction of the original system by one dimension, so in, we end up with an eight-dimension uh, system. And in particular, what we take is the, is the contour map of the variable A1 and A3 after performing a, an average. So in particular, this is the probability density function of the Poincaré section of A2 equal to 2 with derivative uh, less than zero. And it is clear that this uh, is attention, it's outperforming the self-attention. However, the LSTM um, that was already introduced in, in past uh, manuscripts and in past videos behaves really, really, really accurately. Uh, furthermore, if we want takes to account uh, the metrics that we mentioned, such as the Reynolds stresses, uh, in this case mean profiles and, and fluctuations, the LSTM outperforms the ease attention for the, um, for the mean profile. However, for the fluctuations, the ease attention um, obtains a really good performance. One can see here that the self-attention has a promising performance in the, self, in, the, in the mean profiles, however, the fluctuations seem to to, to diverge uh, considerably compared to the other deep learning models. Please uh, visit our GitHub repository, as we have there already the original encoder uh, that we proposed in the, in the manuscript. And please keep, um, we will keep you posted for following videos and stay tuned for further tools and 
mechanisms in deep learning models.